Hey everybody, Brian from quantlabs.net. I uh, wanted to show uh, people that uh, as I'm exploring more uses with MATLAB Simulink, um, that you can interface MATLAB GUIs, graphical user interfaces, with Simulink models. Now, you can create these using MATLAB Guide. Um, I've hinted at these before, but I can confirm that these work. There's three separate um, examples of this blog posting at MathWorks. Um, so I'm going to show you one. Uh, I'm going to show you, show you the other ones um, in this uh, video series, I guess. Um, but the first one is from this guy, Phil Goddard, uh, which are basically using signal viewing, uh, using event listeners. This is just one methodology of using MATLAB. So basically what we're going to do is, this is method three, um, apparently this is the most sophisticated approach, but what you're doing is you're creating a MATLAB um, GUI uh, using guide, uh, which is like a MATLAB M script file, and then you're able to read in the model, the simulate model that is, and, and have the GUI interface with that model. On top of that, you can also build out, um, build out, uh, co-generation uh, to speed it up using a different compiling process. So let me just take you to that um, section. So, there, you know, there's a very simple model uh, with sine wave for input, a gain, and then a scope. I'm not going to show you the model. Um, maybe I should. Okay. So here's the model. It's MDL, which is the older uh, file name. Of um, of uh, Simulink because I'm using Simulink 2015. But you can see this model is really simple. I've shown these simple models before with the inflow, do something, and the outflow, which is usually can be most popular is obviously a scope. So that's our model. Um, so let me load up the um, the uh, M script file, <coughs> which this could be generated by MATLAB guide. I'm not sure if, I don't think this was created by Guy, but you could do that. Um, but uh, let me just um, run this for you. Okay, so we're going to run this simple model uh, script. Uh, no, hold on here. We want this one, I'm sorry. Simple GUI. Okay, here we are. Okay, so basically we're using this simple model, uh, Simulink model, this one right here. Um, and then you have two modes, you have simulation, and then you also have uh, this GRT, which will compile the real time. Uh, I think this application was written a while ago, but this is using basically a MATLAB coder or MATLAB uh, uh, Simulink coder as well. Let me just show you the simulation. So if I set my gain at, uh, let's say two, the starter up. That oh, doesn't do anything. Oh, there we go. But usually you want to see some lines or something. So let me just uh, do three or something. Um, so this is issuing some warnings because the uh, function is out of whack. Okay, let's try ten. I was doing uh, some tr uh, little plots here. Uh, let me just uh, relaunch this, see if I can stop. Okay, so if I go simple, GUI. Okay, so I'm going to try to, hopefully this will work. There we go. So it's going to plot some waves here. As you can see, uh, this is all using interpreted within the MATLAB environment. Okay, so this is using the Simulink. Uh, one of the functions to call simulate the model. So this this is okay speed, but if you try the GRT, which is gonna build out a um, C function, set of C functions, uh, it's already been pre-built. So if uh, you just watch under here, you'll see it build the uh, process. So it's gonna go out, build using the Visual C um, compiler. And uh, what will happen now, is it will launch, um, well actually let me show you the source code so you can understand it. 
So this is the, when you download this, this is what you get. Um, this is the GRT uh, when you build using the C. I've shown the source files before. Here's the headers. Here's the uh, C file. So it is building out a a, uh, a, 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 a MATLAB simulate model in C. Uh, it has its own set of environments for uh, all the environment uh, files, mat files right here, right here, um, as well as um, there is a batch file which will call this model and that's called from within this uh, MATLAB interface. Now the point here is to show you the difference between what was in simulation mode versus the compiler mode, if you remember how much faster this is, it's quite a bit faster. So this is now simulating or, or building on a real-time operating system. So this could be Linux uh, or, or um, obviously Windows or, or even Mac. So as you can see, the whole point of this uh, particular example is to show running from within MATLAB uh, up against a compiled uh, or built uh, using C and whatnot um, it, on, on top of a, a real-time operating system. So I just want to show that as one of the ways to deploy a GUI within the Simulink uh, environment. All right, there's some what other ones. Uh, let me just show you uh, some of the notes here. All the different methodologies. Um, there are some pros and cons of each one with the other ones I'm going to show you. I'm just doing the event listener. Uh, that's just one option. That's just the example I just showed you and I'll show you the other ones coming up. Hey, uh, so coming back to our second and third example, um, there's three examples here as we mentioned. This example from Will Campbell, um, which is this one here, um, doesn't appear to run uh, in my MATLAB 2015. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to be too stressed over it. So, uh, but we do have another one that does run from this uh, GUI development. Uh, let me just show you so you can download, obviously. This is what it contains. Um, when you extract, it has a decent little uh, tutorial. Um, this is why I like MATLAB a lot because you get these little documents where people spend the extra effort to fully explain things. But uh, in a nutshell, some of us are not patient enough. So let me show you the, the pieces. There's two GUI models. Um, this is a great example to um, show you what I plan to do with uh, Simulink in the uh, GUI uh, guide, which is part of MATLAB. Um, so here, if you see this WFIG figure file, basically this is a figure that you can create uh, your, your GUI, your graphical user interface within the guide and then you can generate code from that. Uh, here's the other one for the other example, this one here. So you can put in things like, you know, little buttons, radio buttons, a text box, uh, a checkbox, that sort of stuff. And then from there you can uh, generate code, uh, customize that code uh, for, within a MATLAB M file as you can see here. Um, but the cool thing is um, as I mentioned before, um, the idea is to interface these figures and M functions with uh, the simulate model. So this is a good example here. So what we've got here is we've got, uh, it's used as an S function. Believe it or not, this is my first uh, real example of seeing a working S function from within MATLAB. One other thing is that you can use S functions uh, also to interface it from within C. So you have different um, action language, action scripting languages that you can use from within Simulink, uh, be it MATLAB or um, MATLAB or uh, C you could use. So anyways, um, so as you can see this is an S function. Using this function uh, M file that we, we just, uh, I just showed you here, the IMP GUI uh, SF, uh, sorry this one right here. Um, and that's to interface into the Simulink model. So that's an S function, as you can see here. Um, so, uh, all right, 
So here's, uh, let me just show you the model. So here's the model. And what it does is it just has different outputs into these, um, I don't know what kind of blocks these are, sync block parameters. So these are going to have different values. And then you combine them through this data bus uh, block as well. Or DMUX, that electrical technology stuff. Anyways, um, let me run it. So you can see it's running now. So if I put my value at uh, 2, uh, or hang on, is this the right interface? Okay, sometimes we get these confused. Um, let me try, can I change the model? Okay, here we go, this is what I want. So essentially, we have our text field. So if I do a push button, it'll update within the model. So this is on the inflow side. So if I put, I don't know, 21, checkbox, whatever that does, uh, radio button, whatever. But you can see it's changing uh, here, and then updates whatever. And it has, and so this is how you can interface your model your, your, your MATLAB GUI guide uh, into the simulate by through an S function. So there's an example here showing that. Pretty cool. Um, so let me show you the other example. There's two, 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 two uh, models here. So we have this one, um, which is actually on the uh, input side, or sorry, on the outflow. So this is your outflow. You have here, uh, it's kind of like a little plot. It's kind of cool actually. So we, we have the same concept where we have this uh, figure, which is just basically a plot. Um, we have the interfacing function, which I believe this would, one of these would be the um, S function, probably this one right here, SF uh, underscore SF. And then this is the uh, MATLAB guide uh, M script that's generated from MATLAB guide. So let's run this model um, here. So what we're going to do is going to run it. So here's the plot. So I set this at two, but uh, you can't. I, I don't think you can change this in real time at all. You have to stop and relaunch the uh, simulation. See it sees it. But I don't think it interfaces with it. Maybe if I change this. Let's see what happens here. Oh no, it, it, it did update it. Okay, so let me try this. Okay, so if I change this to I don't know three. Uh, let's see what happens here. There we go. Now that's cool. Um, apparently, I think you can set the mean and some other things somewhere in here I thought I saw. But at the end of the day, it's in here. No. But you can see how you can update um, a plot, let's say in trading. Um, and uh, do it in real time as the simulation is running. So that confirms that you can now use the MATLAB GUI guide both on the inflow and the outflow parts of your simulate model and have it update in real time. That'd be interesting to see if you could generate a standalone um, application from this model that would incorporate all the uh, GUI components, and it doesn't. It just incorporates only the logic um, I tried that, tried researching it, so that's a no-go. So hopefully I'll just confirm everything that I thought. See you.